Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Andal, hence the name Andal's Life. And if you're returning subscriber, then welcome back. So, this, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing in this vlog. I think I'm going to be doing a weekly vlog. Today is Saturday. Um, I don't have much to do today, but I'm going to start the vlog off now because i'm going on the road to collect my packages tomorrow is my mom's birthday so i know that we're going to like i don't even know what it is it's something like a church service i, I really don't know today all i have to do is pick up my packages and then uh, yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to bring you guys along with me tomorrow and then for the rest of the week i'm going to be starting back the gym on monday i haven't been to the gym in like two weeks and we need to get back on our zoom so that's that but we're going on the road right now so let's go i'm driving out right now but i need a new car tripod because the one that i have it's i don't know it's not stable enough and it's just not it just ain't giving so i need to definitely get a new car tripod but separate and apart from that i need to leave jamaica like soon because yeah but as i was saying i need to leave jamaica soon because my bank is acting up and i use a u.s bank because i get paid in u.s so it's more convenient for me when like companies pay me to just like go to my u.s account but my u.s account is acting up so i need to go in and get everything started and i feel like i want to open another account as well so that's that as well so i need to leave jamaica to take care of some business so hopefully i can get that done or i can leave as soon as possible but um but yeah i'm trying to give you guys like some life updates like some things that are going on in my life that is something that's stressing me out right now because my card is locked and i can't i don't have access to it and that's why my main account but i used to do everything i don't know I don't know why I'm just not a fan of Jamaican accounts. I have literally one account in Jamaica. Actually, not one, but like one account that I use in Jamaica. I need like a Scotia or NCB. I need a Visa card, a Jamaican Visa card, because I don't have one. And it's kind of crazy to me because I conduct a lot of businesses. So, like, why don't I have one? I just don't trust Jamaican banks, especially when it comes on to like people complaining about their money being missing from their account especially when that thing was going on i don't see much of it right now but when it was happening yeah i was supposed to open an ncb account and i'm just like yeah nah not gonna happen but i think i really need to get that started out um the last time i tried opening the ncb as well they gave me an appointment saying that they only go by appointment i'm not sure if that's still valid because i think during that time it was like covid so a lot of things was kind of a lot of things were like restricted at the time so probably that was the case but yeah enough of me chatting i'm on my way to pick up my packages right now i i'm hoping that one of them is a here package a week package i know i have my amazon order um my mom has a sheen order and there's another order that i'm not sure what it is probably two here packages i don't know but I probably just do that unboxing in the car. I've been calling my mom all morning and I haven't been getting her, which is strange. I mean, today's my stepdad's birthday and then tomorrow's her birthday. But my mom always answers my calls. So I don't know. I'm just going to go up to her house when I collect the package and see what's going on. Because, like, why aren't you answering me? I feel like the more I get older, the more I kind of feel like. I don't know. My mom becomes my friend and it's just like. Like, why you not answer my call type thing? Like, I don't know. If my mom doesn't answer me, I'm gonna be my feelings. I'm sorry. But, yeah. All of today's vlog is probably going to be me chatting because I have nothing else to do today than to collect this package right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. You know, so she gave me one package from when to. I don't think I need to follow up on that word. I'll see you guys when I collect my package because I need to stop nice. But, inside of it i'm just giving me this look uh, i look so uh, i don't know my skin look extra clear when me in my car i don't know why but yeah i'll see how uh, when i call it my package 
this is really the disadvantage of being away from YouTube so long because I totally forget. <laughs> I totally forgot that I was vlogging, but I have my packages right here. I'm going to drop off my mom's package to her at home, and then I also got a salad from Papa Chulo. Um, a lot of shrimp salad, so I'm going to go home and devour that. But I need to buy something to munch on. But y'all know the gym, the gym girl in me, I can't get no snacks. I'll probably just buy a fruit bowl from the lady that I usually buy from. But yeah, I'm about to drop off these packages. I'm going to definitely do an unboxing for you guys since I didn't bring you guys inside of G shipping and I didn't bring you guys inside of um, Papi Chula, even though I was only in there for like a minute because all I did was pick up my package so but once i get my camera which i should be getting by monday I'm getting the canon g7x i had the sony zv1 which i would get that back and i feel like it's a better like vlog camera but i want a vlog and um picture camera so i'm getting the canon g7x instead of the sony getting back the sony i should see and then i also want the awesome pocket like dji I think it is DJI as my pocket DJI as my pocket 3 yeah that's what I want like ultimately as my travel camera like another vlog camera so I'll probably get that as well so I'm going to end up having three cameras three cameras total but I want to sell my Canon that I have right now I have the Canon Rebel T7 so if you guys want that camera hit me up it's a very very good picture like camera but it's just that i want it for picture and vlog and it's not a good vlog camera because it's a, a, a bigger camera um in contrast to like the compact cameras so that camera is mostly just for taking pictures and as i said it's what i take all my ig pictures with so it's a very good camera so if you guys want it hit me up because it's coming with a 256 memory card as well and yeah what i want is the asthma pocket for my vlog camera and then the Canon G7 X for vlog and picture camera. So I'm going to have two cameras in all. Well, I want to have two cameras in all after I sell the Canon that I have right now. So let's see, fingers crossed. Just got to my mom's house. I'm about to switch my car. I'm going to take her car because tomorrow we're going to take on a long journey and her car burns gas less than mine because Venom be drinking gas like water, so. I'm gonna leave my car at her house, take her car. It's my stepdad driving out. So, yeah, that's the plan. We're in all reliable. Wait there. Mommy, what? You can call her car that face. I'm gonna try catching up some way. Sorry. Oh my gosh, so nostalgic. Okay, we're gonna have to break up. <laughs> we we overturned this dog again. What is that? Mommy wants to me a talk so. Anyways, we're back. If you're OG, then y'all know this car already. This is the wish that I was driving before I got Venom, before I got my big body Bimmer. But yeah, this is, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the OG car if you're here, if you've been here for a while. I don't wanna know how many friends I'm singing at our radio, I really play. But yeah, I'm about to go home. I just dropped off her package and we switched cars because as I said, I'm driving this tomorrow to go to Mobile because it's very much reliable and my car I'm not going to fill it up like literally probably to go from Ochi to um to Mobe and back I would have to fill my tank and we're not doing this because this car I've driven this car on E to Kingston it can go Kingston on E so this car is like very what should I say gas efficient yeah so we're driving her tomorrow but yeah i'm going to go home mash up my salad come hungry and um unbox my unbox my unbox my packages with y'all so yeah i'm gonna do that 
I'll see y'all when I'm home. All right, so I'm inside. I'm going to unbox these packages. We're going to start from biggest to smallest because I feel like what's in the small package, I'm really excited about. So we're going to save the best for last. So this is an Amazon package and I have quite a few stuff in this. I should have quite a few stuff in this. So let's see. All right, so opening up. The first thing I got is my laptop case. Why this green is not giving? If you guys don't know, my favorite color is olive green. So I tried to got, I tried to got, I tried to get an olive green case. And this, I mean, kinda. I guess because it's transparent, you can't really see like that. But let me just unbox it fully. I'm going to put a trash in this box right now. I don't even have no fingernail. I can not make it. It looks better outside of the plastic, I guess. So these are the screen protectors for the laptop case. And then we have the actual laptop case. Oh, it comes with a lot of things though. So we have the laptop top keyboard covers. And then we have the bottom. And we also have like the screen cleaner and something. Oh, and it came with these, um, what do you call these? Adapter thingies? I don't know what these are called, but y'all get the gist. It looks way better outside of the plastic. I got this very expensive bodysuit. This bodysuit was like for $40. This is how it looks. I think there's a lot of them on TikTok shop, but y'all know Jamaica don't have TikTok shop. So I was able to get it on TikTok shop. So I went ahead and got it on Amazon. It has the ruched like backing. The last thing I got is a water bottle for the gym as well. And it's also in the color olive green. This is how it looks. It's so cute. So it has the times and it, it's actually very sturdy. This is very sturdy. But it has, yeah, the times 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to be pulling this up and drinking out of this. I feel like it's going to help me to be consistent with water drinking because I do be drinking more water than I usually drink, but it's still not enough. And then it also came with a plastic straw and the cup, the bottle cleaner. And that's everything for this. Oh no, I have one more thing. This thing is a dupe for um, the lover boy hats. You guys know the lover boy bean is with the ears. That's what this is, but it's a dupe because it's from Amazon. So that's how it looks. Yeah. But yeah, I get the gist. These things are for like a hundred and something dollars. Like the real ones are for like a hundred and something dollars. So I figured I'd just get this one. Right now for my next package, I'm quite sure, 99% sure, if you are a wig influencer, then you know like how your wig packages look and how they come, and this is a wig package, for sure. Yep, like I expected, definitely a wig package. And this wig is from IC here, that's that. For the last package, what I'm most excited about, because this little package came up to like $150. And I bought like two jewelry pieces. When y'all see them, y'all be like, okay, and they'll, I get it. Those were worth it. Shouldn't even tell no where it's from because sponsor me. <laughs> Sorry. So this is, I guess, I guess, the box to hold the packages in. And then this now is the actual box. This is how it looks. The first piece. I'm so excited for these. <laughs> All right, let me open it. <laughs> Listen. I've wanted these for the longest time, but I was debating if it was worth like my money because $150 for two jewelry pieces. Yeah, one of these jewelry pieces is like $70. So this is the first one. Let me see if you guys can see that. It's so pretty. This is the first one. It's actually not as like heavy or sturdy as I thought it would be, but I want to wear them like layers. So this is supposed to be like a don't mind my arm i'm sorry i get laser and i can't i can't watch so but it's the first piece super cute love it love it love it bro when i dress these up and then this is the second one if you guys go on like Dara's page then you guys can see she's always in these like pieces they're actually not as sturdy as i thought they would be but it's fine so this one it can wear like it can wear it long it can wear it short can wear it like 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can wear it like this. Or you can wear it like this and put it like down here and you have the little pendants. However you want to wear it, then yeah. But I got these for when I'm trying to layer my necklaces. And I feel like these will add a lot to an outfit. Like a simple outfit. If you have a simple outfit and you just want to like dress it up, I feel like these would be like very, very great statement pieces. So that's why I got them because when I'm wearing my little like all blacks or my simple outfits and I want to jazz them up. I always accessorize like jewelry always makes things look way better so that's it for the haul i'm about to go eat and watch a movie i've been watching swap lately if you guys have any netflix suggestions let me know because i'm I watch everything for netflix at this point so i bought coconut bullock and cheese for later my fruits lady was closed today so but yeah i'll probably see y'all later or tomorrow so bye I just want to show you guys how sleek this looks on my MacBook because, yeah, this is cute. I don't know, olive green is just that color. Like, I don't know. I used to hate green, I know I just love olive green. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. It's uh, all red. Watch them on. People them in red. Red, red. Red. Oh, no, it's like, I don't know what it's like. <laughs> Just know that today was a very long and tiring day like i am beat i'm done for i busted my lip but yeah i am literally just done for because i woke up at like 4 30 because i said today was my mom's birthday as i told you guys today was my mom's birthday and we went to like a convention in Montego Bay but I had to wake up at 4 30 to pick up my grandmother so we could head there so I had to go pick up my grandma and then pick up my mom and then we headed to um, the service in Montego Bay got there everything was cool I didn't get the well me and my mom I guess mommy got the memo but she just didn't follow the memo because we were supposed to wear all red and I did not know about that. But um, I sat through like almost the first part of the service and um, a little bit ab about an hour before lunchtime, I um, went into the car to sleep because I was so tired. Like I literally could not stay up because I went to bed at one and then I woke up at 4.30. So I was mad tired, went in the car and that was about, I want to say, probably around 11 o'clock. And I did not go back in and the service finished at 3.30. But the reason I didn't go back in, honestly, is because, I don't know, I have I have very crippling social anxiety. Like, and anytime I see a lot of people, I just feel like I get overstimulated. And then I went to the bathroom. I went to use the restroom at lunchtime. Well, when they gave the service break for lunch or whatever, and I went to the bathroom and when I was coming out, a girl saw me and actually stopped. But I just wasn't in a social mood. So I started walking faster. And like for the rest of the day, I just didn't feel like I want to be seen. Because I really have those days where I just don't want to be seen or talked to. Like I just want in my own world. And it's just, I don't know. I saw a TikTok and it's so crazy because little bit after that like encounter happened i was in the car on tiktok and there was this girl on tiktok talking about um how all her life she thought she was weird because she literally has um 
crippling social anxiety like whenever people are supposed to talk to her or whenever she's talking to somebody or somebody touches her or anything like that she gets overstimulated and she said for a lot of her years she thought she was just weird but she went and did a test and it turns out that she's actually um what's it called damn she's actually autistic yeah that's what she is she's on the spectrum and the whole time i'm just uh, like wondering am i <laughs> am i autistic like do i have autism like do i have autism and just not know am i calling it social anxiety when really and truly i might be autistic because i just fail to understand how it is that my mom and my dad are both like social butterflies like they're the life of the party they're conversational and all that so it's just weird to me how i am like the total opposite like before i going to anywhere at all i have to mentally prepare like it's that bad and it's to a point in life where i feel like it's restricting me from a lot of things because i'm not i'm i don't know like i rather sit in the car or stay at home and miss out on opportunities than put myself out there and you know like network or socialize or anything like that because i do have my days when i force myself to be like be interactive or force myself out of this um like anxious state but but some days it's just like overbearing and i guess that's why i'm like a homebody because I just don't like being around a lot of people. Like, I'm just, I feel like when I'm around a, like a lot of people, my mind is just all over the place. Like, and I'm so I don't want to say I'm pessimistic, but like I'm thinking about everything that could go wrong. I don't know why. Like, if I'm in a party, I'll literally be in a party, and in my head, I'm just thinking like, what if somebody come in and shoot up the wall at the club here? Like, I don't know why my mind functions like that, and it's actually scary as heck. But yeah. And it's getting worse because it wasn't this bad and i know it's because i'm like more known now and i'm not saying that i don't love my supporters because i honestly do like i love when people call to me and you know interact with me or whatever but i just have my days where it's just like i feel so awkward i feel like that's it it's not that i don't want to like communicate or socialize it's just that i feel like i'm just so awkward I like i literally all right so for instance somebody called to me and where she them talk to me i say oh um and i watch you on youtube my mind freezes like i don't know what to say and then after the encounter i'll think about the encounter for like hours i'll literally think about yo why was i so awkward or why did i say that or what could i have said instead of what i said like my mind functions so weird bro like i'll have a simple encounter somebody called to me and say hi i just wave to me and i'll wave and i'll walk off and think to myself why did i wave like that was i waving weird did i act weird was i mean like because a lot of times also i feel like i have a resting rbf a resting face so i am very like conscious of how i speak to you guys because i don't want to ever come off as a bitch like but the good thing about it is everybody that meets me in real life always say i'm nice so i'm thankful for that but just know that i'll be overthinking like our interactions and it's it's literally torture but yeah if i'm ever awkward in real life just know that that is the reason i try my best to like be not awkward so i be rehearsing this is embarrassing but i re like i literally rehearse my responses before i see you guys like i always think okay because i know one of my one of my biggest well one of the first things people say when they see me is oh my god you're so short i didn't know you were so short and my response is always everybody always says that that's literally what i say to you guys whenever anybody said that to me so it's just like i be rehearsing those responses but yeah i feel like i've been chatting for too long but i'll see you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is monday and tomorrow i'm starting back the gym so i have gym tomorrow i have to pick up a package tomorrow hopefully i can buy my camera tomorrow and yeah that's all we have on the agenda for tomorrow but you guys were commenting on my last video that i should bring you guys to the gym 
because I was very skeptical about like making vlogs in the gym because y'all aren't used to gym the gym girly so I just thought that that would be like boring to you guys but I'm going to start bringing you guys along so I'll see y'all at the gym tomorrow so it's the next day and I'm actually heading to the gym right now I told you guys that today on the agenda we have gym hopefully I can get the camera today and then um after that i need to go pick up a package at not bird so but it seems to me like my mom wants to come to the gym so i might have to pick her up because she's at a massage because yesterday was her birthday so probably have to do that but yeah we're on our way to the gym so it might be a mom a mommy daughter gym date today we'll see but Michelle, I can't have my tripod because I don't think my trainer's tripod is working. I think it break or something. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm at the gym. All right now, I'm here collecting um my mom's package. Not in both package. I'm gonna pick up her clothes because she never planned to come to the gym. But she hears me go to the gym and now she wants to go to the gym. I'm really tired of vlogging with my phone in my hand, and I don't like doing it. I can. I'm really good at it actually but i i don't want to continue doing it when i'm driving so i'm gonna try to get a new tripod um especially because this one right here it can't hold the camera so only my phone can go in there and it's not even holding my phone so really and truly have no reason to have it um in my car for real because it serves no purpose so i'm going to be ordering one that can hold my phone and my um and my camera but recommend some good ones to me because i don't know um i'm scared to put it on my dashboard because i know like once like the glue thingy or the sticky part of it melts it does this like this right here is caused by a tripod and i don't want to do that so or probably it does get a tripod that can hold right here let me see is this a good place to put y'all no i don't think so so i wouldn't put a tripod right here but recommend some good tripods. We chat too much, you know. That's my problem now. I won't put on my lip balm. But I'm driving. Alright. It felt good. At this point, I was a I was definitely a driver in my in my past life because I can really do it all. Do it. The only thing I can't do is drive with my knees and it's because I'm way too short to do that. And I'm not going to even ever try that. I used to like seeing Hey guys do that like drive with their knees i was just like yeah i want to do that but i'm not not even going to try anyways bye you <laughs> 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 After you eat rice and peas. In January, when, time, when she started in January, she, she looked like her grandmother. <laughs> you understand me? Mm. And see nice little dolphin, you know? This are the butterfly. <laughs> this are the butterfly. <laughs> no. You understand me? I'm going to use it. Right. She didn't have to come camp shirt. At the same time, I've been encouraged her to come and get on a camp shirt. You know? <laughs> no, 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 look like mother and dad. Look at these people. 
fix up with me, fix up with sleep and all these things. But anyway, people, I throw on the scale of Alibaba, you know, I come up on the little baby. 169 pounds. You understand me? 31 down. That's right. 31 pounds from January to the January, January 18th. The 18th, you hear them? What do you hear them? January 18th. Yeah. Campers, system check. Wait for it. Come to, 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 You call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah, No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you 
I'm walking by the flesh, that's when I live God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I don't wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I don't wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus So I brought you guys to the gym with me I didn't show you guys everything But I showed you guys a lot So be thankful Me is inside a juicy patties right now She's getting some party. I just collected my package from Request shipping One of them says Sheen But I don't remember getting anything from Sheen So I don't know what exactly is in here But right now I'm going to head home And then probably head back out to get my hair done so we'll see. I bought a crayfish soup. I have two packages here and I have no idea what's in them. Let's open this one first. Okay, I know what this is. These are some sheen clothes from me and my mom. So it's like matching sets. I got myself one and I got my mom one. By the way, my mom lost 30 pounds. I think I kind of included that part when she was on the scale. She was... um. 200 pounds and now she's actually she lost 31 pounds she was 200 pounds and now she's 169 yeah so yeah we're trying to be like her i'm not really trying to lose weight for the most part but i'm trying to like tone my body i need a flat belly and a fat ass by summer and when i say summer i mean like by june july because yeah need that so I bought some tops for me and some tops for her and then the matching um, tights because she's now a gym girly. So I hope this can fit her because she's now a medium. She's not a large anymore. So hopefully these can fit her. Okay, this can probably fit her. My mom is no longer this big. I got her some extra large tops. Like those the solid plain tops. And then the same thing for me in um, small. So this is the ones, the ones that are for me. More gym tops, so they look. And then some, are these mine? They're small, but they look big though. There's some plain tops. I'm supposed to be wearing, well, I got them for the gym, I think. But this can probably even fit my mother at this point because my mommy is small. We don't know, them look confusing. I'll see y'all. Because I'm supposed to be going to the hairdresser, so I'm waiting on Renee to call me and tell me when to come. So we're just going to sit down and watch SWAT until it's time for me to go to my hair. Guys, we reached my destination a long time, but it's literally raining cats and dogs. It's out here right now, and I'm in my car sitting down and waiting for the, the rain to stop or like to ease down, but it's not, it's just falling harder. So I'm really here just contemplating if I should just run in the rain or walk fast in the rain and go up there because i've literally been in the car for like 20 minutes now for for one not only that um there was no parking like close to where my hairdresser is so i had to park down the road so i do have a bit of a walk if i'm going to run in the rain right now it's been five minutes later and the rain is still like tearing and i just don't know like marilla and truly just annoyed i just want to go in i'm really and truly hope renee stopped me here as I'm reaching because I'm not really in the all day thing today. I'm not not up for it at all. So I think I'm just gonna run in the rain and go up there. I don't really want to wait up but <laughs> It's purple yeah I know it's new and I love it I haven't done much color when it comes down to my hair and I'm always wearing wigs so it's just like it's get boring like it really and truly gets boring after a while like doing the same black brown blonde skunk stripe all those just get boring after a time so this year I told myself I'm going to start doing more colored hair so now we have purple and purple used to be one 
of my favorite colors i think it still is well i'm gonna say i think it still is but because my new favorite color is olive green um uh, i kind of abandoned purple but this hair makes me feel like a purple girly like i feel like if you're a purple girly you're just a diehard purple girly and i don't think i'm just a diehard purple girly i'm a purple and olive green girly but this wig is giving everything it should be but yeah the hair is done um i'm about to head home am i going home do i have anything else no i don't have anything else done on the road yeah so i'm heading home right now um i just bought a shirt from this girl and i wasn't going to buy anything i just feel like we're supposed to spend on a ceremony and like usually when like vendors come up to me i don't buy anything like i never buy anything mm. from them just because it's just like I just feel like it's a waste of money but this girl her shirts are different well not different she's a she do custom shirts she said she designed these shirts herself and i'm gonna show you this is her ig right here yeah so that's her ig right here and this is a size small but it says on the front it says god's chosen vessel i didn't even read it i just saw that her brand or whatever it was about god and i'm just like yeah I'ma just buy this. It was three thousand dollars for this shirt. Good morning, guys. It's not morning right now. It's the evening. Come on, Lisa, let's drive out. So, anyways, it's not morning right now. It's the evening time. It's like two thirty right now. I'm heading to the gym for three o'clock because my gym time today is three o'clock. Um, I don't think I ended off like last night, but I went to the hairdresser, came home watch the movie until i fell asleep today i'm just going to go to the gym and then like make a stop or two to pick up like a few things and then that will be pretty much it for the day so today's like portion of the vlog will not be that long but it's fine because tomorrow um i have a laser touch up i don't think i vlogged um my first time getting laser but this is going to be my monthly um laser touch up i did one treatment so far and tomorrow's my second one and it wasn't bad at all but i feel like they're probably going to pump up the machine a bit tomorrow so it's probably gonna sting a bit but i'm super excited for it because i just can't wait until my hairs or my treatment is completely over and my hairs are completely gone um i got laser under my arm and i got my whole bikini not bikini my a whole brazilian like laser like i'm trying to be bear like bear bear so yeah i am currently doing laser treatment laser hair reduction quite excited for tomorrow by the way if i'm in like an upbeat mood it's because i'm in a very very good mood today because let's know that things are working out for my mom and god is blessing her and filling and multiplying her baskets and i'm just so so happy because like my mom seeing my mom happy and my mom being happy is like the best thing in the world like the best feeling when things are work out for her i like because she deserve it that lady is like the the sweetest lady ever so giving and god just always i come through for her like so much and it just warms my heart to see that things are working out perfectly for her you know so yeah when she's happy that's all my mother and my grandmother once my mother and my grandmother are happy that's all in life that i care about she's happy i'm happy so yeah ah! um i just want to cry i'm gonna listen to some gospel because god has been so good so so good so both me and her because i feel like once you're a pure person god sees your intentions and yeah your, your basket are gonna always overflow like your cup are gonna always overflow so super grateful for life super grateful for everything like all not for do i pray and trust god best believe but yeah i am going to the gym and i'm glad i'm going to the gym in this mood because even though i'm not in the gym mood i'm happy at least so i'm going to bring and take out all my what should i say all my jitters in the gym right now so i'll see y'all at the gym that I will be 15. Then when I done, I will stand up. Back. Go back around the same thing. So the wide grip, feel wide grip might be yes. Uh -huh. And then the close grip, right yes. Right here. I need to start working out, but I'm working on the tripod so I can fly. 
to do and then I'll be done for the day. I need to go pick up mom so that she can come to the gym because her car is being serviced. So I'm gonna pick her up, drop her off to pick up her car and then she's gonna come to the gym. We have two different gym times so yeah I'm gonna finish up my last star workout and then we're out of here. Good morning guys I'm always starting off my days of the vlog in the car for some reason because whenever I'm home I'm always scrambling and I was just rushing to get out because I had to fix my hair and stuff. So I was in a rush. But we're now on our way to Kingston. Today is the 8th. And I think it's about 1 o'clock right now. My appointment is at 2 o'clock. So I have an hour to get into Kingston and reach at my appointment. But um, I took a shower and did my hair. And I waxed. You know, why do I keep saying wax? I shaved yeah I shaved for the first time in years today because I don't know if you know what if you're getting laser um, it's best to shave down the hairs so that the machine can target the roots of the hair so I'm now on my way um, to Kingston but I'm actually a bit like anxious not nervous but anxious for today's appointment because the first one I was super anxious because i thought it was going to hurt but it didn't hurt but i feel like it probably um, continue straight for six minutes to t3 Miami bay toll plaza yeah as i was saying i feel they will probably um amp up the machine today i'm anticipating that but we'll see the good thing about it is that laser is very fast so even if it is painful it's only painful for a little while so i mean if i can wax why can't I be her? I'm a champ, I can take the pain. But hopefully it's not too painful. But we'll see. Forgot I have a lash appointment. Hopefully I can make it to that. Because my laser appointment is at 2 and then my lash appointment is probably going to be around 3 o'clock, 3.30. Well, I made the appointment for 3.30 so I'm just hoping that I can reach there in time and everything goes smoothly. 
because with this hair i feel like my face just gives naked and i feel like i'm here extra so my lashes need to at least do for make up for the extra days with the palm of my head so we'll see are done this is how they look um right now i am at mega mart i just got done with my lashes the girl that did my lashes is the same girl that did my lashes the previous time um the first time was for promo but i went back to her and spent my dollars because that's how good her work was her retention is very very good and i love that something about lashes that i always look out for once you have good retention you will get my money all the time so she has very good retention so i decided to go back to her so i just got my lashes done actually i need to go i need to wax in my wax my brows i need to shave my brows right now i have the razor in my bag so i'm going to shave them right now i just want to update you guys because i don't think i updated you guys before i went to do my lashes because i was on the phone I was on an important call before I went inside to get my lashes done. So I feel like I actually have updated you guys since I um sorry, may I try multitask? As I was saying, I didn't really vlog much while I was getting my laser done, but it was fast, a little teeny weeny bit more painful than the first time. First time is probably a one, this time is probably a two. So still bearable but the thing as i said before it's very fast so nothing nothing for cry over but as i headed straight to my lash appointment and now we're here at mega mart my lashes took two hours to get done which is normal time for a volume set i'm here shaving <laughs> i'm literally here shaving my eyebrows in the car right now crazy why because i feel like my ear do and my lashes do so my eyebrow need for the two i'm very sorry i'm just one of those girls i can do it myself like i be paying people to do things like if i didn't want to do my lashes i could have did clusters and if i didn't want to do my ear myself i could have do it myself but i just be lazy that's it that's my explanation i'm really just lazy but i feel like me i chat too much now so i'll see you guys in mega mart in a minute once i'm done shape up my eyebrow them why the money i look palmy man right i wish i tinted like the front of my, my glass because my whole car is tinted except the front but anyways bye we're coming here to this other one and... morning guys in the car as usual um right now i'm heading back to ochi but i'm in wendy's drive through right now i'm gonna get a salad at this point, Ochi needs a Wendy's because I'm stuck on their, their salad real bad. Hi, morning. Hi, morning. Can I get a cup salad, please? A what? A cup salad. A cup salad? Yeah. Okay. Um, you have orange juice? If we have one? What juice you have that is not um soda? Orange juice, please. Okay. Thanks. Come around. All right, me alone now. I have to. I'm thinking about a good picnic. Yeah. Yeah. 
need a tripod so bad. I need a car tripod. Like real bad. Like real bad. Anyways, I'm going to head over right now. We not them way. Yeah, I'm past middle. Yeah, I'm on my way over. Back to Ochi right now. I came to um Wendy's last night because I ate the same salad last night. And they were hyping me up over my hair. And just go back a while ago and the lady said, if I because you know, so them let me hear me come back again. But I'm really just stuck on your salad. Like, and I'm not going to have this for at least a while because I don't know when I'm coming back to Kingston. And then there's no Wendy's in Ochi. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the Wendy's salad while I have it. <laughs> I'm not starting the vlog in the car today. No. We're actually inside. I'm about to get ready and leave out because I have a few errands to run and Mother's Day is on Sunday. So I have a few things to get separate and apart from that few errands to run. But it took me everything to get ready just now because I'm just want to lay down. I don't feel like getting ready right now but we're doing that so I'll be back when I'm just and everything. First thing first. So today on the agenda, I need to, well today is mostly for my mom, I need to run some errands for her, not for her, but for her, because I need to get, I need to go to the ATM to draw some money for her. If you guys don't know, I think the, the 12th is Mother's Day, so that's Sunday, and the 5th that just passed was my mom's birthday, so I need to get her Mother's Day gift plus her belated birthday gift in one. So I'm going to go to the ATM and then I'm going to go to Pandora. Um, I need to get her two charms for her Pandora bracelet. I'm going to get one for Mother's Day and one for her birthday. Then plus the cash. So yeah. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. That's the only thing I think I have to do. Just get money. Get the charms. And that's about it. Yeah, if I stop anywhere else today. I'll let you guys know. I actually need to go grocery shopping, but I don't feel like doing all that today. I also need to go to the car wash. Don't feel like doing that today either. So we'll see what I get done today. This week's vlog is finishing today. Today is Friday, and I'm that's it. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I make my first stop. And yeah, that's it. All right, so I just got to Margaretville. So first stop ATM, second stop Pandora. I'm going to two more trays, so look at the same thing that you like. Oh, two different trays. Mm -hmm. And I'm not buying nothing, you know. You're not buying anything. Are you buying them? I'm going to find your bill. I'm going to try to get it. So I'm getting this one. I'm not focus. The mom chime and a travel chime. This is even a focus. Little extra black. Yeah, man. Honey dog. As a stalker. Look nice, though. Got a telephone phone, I like. Crazy. <laughs> Of mine, moment one. Be them gone. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back in this right now. So we get two, two mm. chance for mommy, and then the free bottle of mine. Two chance for mommy. Two chance for mommy. There we go. We can't even not show up. Focus. It not focus. But there we go. That dog cute, the next one look better. Where that is tough, bro. That nice. Boom. Save it. I'm gonna give them on the day, just keep like this. 
Like I probably not even see her Sunday. Today is like Friday. She's getting it and I say one day before it, so I get it. What do you mean? No? Today is Friday. Sunday is Mother's Day, but when I get her gift, like, she's getting them today. Hey, I'm a fan. So I'm an Anova. Hello. I'm a big fan. I wonder why. You know that stranger? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm a fan. Guys, I have a stalker. Can I get a picture, please? I have a stalker. Please, this man is following me. Call the police. Can I, can I get a picture, please? Can I get a picture, please? Yeah, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go over there. Come now. Nija. As a bank manager. Where is that? Hmm? You need to come like a minute. Oh. Chalef. Chalef? I like in rich mouth. Oh my god, look at this. <coughs> Put it inside the mouth. Should I make it fun, brother? It is. That's not fun. Right, I'm going to No, that's not fun. You should have said, put right on note and say, look, tell me, look right, look here, and then we put it somewhere. Check. The top right, John. Top John. No more John, ain't it? Oh, good. You can't see that for the last time. Check the top child. You know what I understand, sir. I was going to do it. And then we are going to make one. Yeah. I think you know, really. Wait, wait. <coughs> you shouldn't have left one camera set up in the phone when you did that look. What a bad. I don't know where you get camera from. Yeah, right, it's in it. Uh, in Nigeria, you have to put it. No, yeah, and then when I go in, then I'll put the next one off. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Because some people don't like reading them. She's a Bible chill pop. Buy me a Mother's Day gift, guys. Yeah, future a, mother. A pre Mother's Day gift. Right. What? Yeah, come here, so, you can't eat popsicle now? No, you can't eat popsicle. We know that you good for. Get up on it. President. Yo, go buy chili pop place or so. What are people at? So, oh, maybe no see a reach. Guys, I'm leaving y'all. This is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying not to do the outro, outro anymore. So I'm actually checking in with you guys and I'm telling y'all that I'm leaving. I'll see you guys next week. Same place, same time. Okay? So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all.